What's up everybody, this is your girl Gwen, and today's video, well a couple weeks ago I posted a picture on Instagram with my altar space, and a bunch of you messaged me on Instagram and was like, can I get uh, like an in-depth tour of said altar, so that's what today's video is going to be about, so I just want to do this quick little introduction. I'm not only going to show you that, I'm going to show you my little witchy cabinet behind me. Um, well, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Let's get in. Oh, also, it's about to thunderstorm and my windows are open. So if you hear thunder and lightning or the train, I'm sorry, the windows are open. So, all right, enough jibber jabbering. Let's get into it. All right, here's a little quick overview of the actual altar. Um, it's also where I do like my artsy crafty stuff or where like I let the kids sit and they're coloring and stuff. It's kind of like not just an altar, but a hub. Um, this is just a regular dining room table. One of the, the older ones I had in my kitchen that I now have in here. Um, I will be painting this soon because the table underneath is green and the chairs don't match. They didn't come together. so. I'm going to be painting this and reupholstering the chairs at some point, so maybe I'll do a video on that when the time comes. Um, yeah, but it's just a dining room table, and pretty much this is how my altar looks 365. I don't decorate um, for seasons or like holidays. I mean, like for Samhain, I may put like a pumpkin or two. I just don't decorate that much but it pretty much just looks like this and then whatever I'm working on goes pretty much here and yeah pretty much just plants so that my altar consists of plants plants and more plants these little string lights I got at Target uh, in the dollar spot so but um, some other things. Oh, this is a little air plant I also got from Target. Um, so, uh, this box I recently just got. There's literally nothing in it. It's just a box. But I bought it from this little Celtic shop that's right by our house. Um, it has a tree on it. And y'all know my kids are named after trees. And I love trees. So, I bought it. And I just stuck it there. Um... This is my little goddess statue. I literally, I don't work with any specific deities. It's not, I do, however, acknowledge a divine feminine and a divine masculine. Um, but uh, I don't have a specific god or goddess I work with, like other people do in the witchy community. Um, it's pretty much work with earth energy. That's why this little statue like resonated with me. She's just like a little pregnant goddess, little moon and star on her boobies and uh, flowers and butterflies in her hair. Um, so I got that off of Amazon, I believe. But that's just my little goddess statue. And then I just got some more plants and then peace is a word I use quite often. Um, when people ask me what I want for like birthdays or Christmas, it's just world peace, peace. I just want peace. <laughs> so, um, I just stuck it. It used to be on my wall like years ago, but it fit right there and I liked it. I focus on it. When I'm meditating, peace. We can all use it, right? Especially after <laughs> the last year and a half we've been going through um here we have more plants and then i just have a little gnome i got from the always awesome dollar tree i got this little mushroom from dollar tree this little door which is supposed to be for like fairy garden dollar tree uh i got another one back there in this little um bonsai plant little fairy door and then this one i did not get from dollar tree actually i got this from dollar general and he was just like this little zend out gnome <laughs> which I thought was super cute and uh, again we have 
piece. So I just put him in the plant and you know, he sits there and meditates with me when I sit down and um, meditate. I actually do not sit on these chairs when I meditate. I sit on this guy right here. Um, this little like stool thing. So I'll sit here, look this way, and do my meditation super early in the morning before the kids get up because when they're awake, it's not happening. So that's pretty much my altar, guys. It's just plants and a few statues. Uh, again, it's also where I arts and crafts. So here's, I have my printer, um, my Cricut, and then this cabinet pretty much has art supplies and Cricut vinyl and all that sort of thing. Um, this basket is my kids' clothes. It's not dirty laundry, it's their clothes. That's how I store the two youngers' clothes is just in this basket because it's the easiest grab and go. And most of you know, their bedroom is my living room. So it's just easiest to put them in the basket. They used to be in this dresser drawer, but it was kind of a bitch to get to. So it just, just put the art supplies in there, clothes in there. Um, this is just my cabinet or my books, I guess you say. Um, some are witchy, some are just good reads. Here's a picture of me and Manny when we were teenagers. Look at that man, he loves me. Mm. Um, yeah, but this is my bookshelf. I have a bookshelf over here too, but this is uh, mostly kitty stuff, kid books. Well, there's a picture of my daughter Willow. When she was a baby. Look how cute she is. So gorgeous. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the altar. There's Yoshin or Yoshi. His name's Yoshi, but we call him Yoshin sometimes. Yoshi! Buddy, you sleep? I think he's asleep. There's Manny. <laughs> and then here's the cabinet. Um I have this little sign that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year around Halloween. And it just says Salem General Store, broomstick spells and potions. I thought it was cute. I hung it up on here. And, uh, you know. Oh, and this is just, um, this is a little, like, angel Christmas tree ornament. It used to hang on our tree growing up as kids. It was my mother's. Um, and I always loved it. There was, like, a couple different ones like there was a set of like six or something and I literally have no idea how I got this like I do not know how I ended up with this um I had been moved out for my mom's for years Christmas decorating one year I was putting the tree up and this was in my bin of Christmas stuff and literally I don't know how it got there but I again loved it so much as a kid um so I hung her up here because apparently I was meant to have it. So there she is. Um, so we open this up and down here I have, hi, I'm filming an altar tour. Mm. Okay, so down here I have um, my herbs and shit, candles and shit. This is uh, technically my cauldron. I got this for my stepfather a long time ago, and it's technically a mortar and pestle. Um, but uh, it's heavy. It's heavy, and but I use it as my uh, cauldron, and also it has this little thing which you would use to obviously crush herbs with. But I just. Um, use it to like snuff out the charcoal disc or whatever it is I'm burning in it. So this is actually really convenient. And again, I got that from my stepfather a long time ago. Um, and that's what it's used for. These are all my witchy herbs. I've literally, I don't have labels on all my stuff, but I already know what everything is. So like, you don't eat them. Like here's star anise and I got some shells and some bay leaves, um, Palo Santo, I have a jar of teeth, I mean, does anybody else have a 
jar of tea in the witchy cabinet. Uh, these are my kids mostly. There are some of my puppy too in there somewhere. Um, but those are all my babies, fur babies. And I know where all the teeth came from, okay? So I'm not super weird. <sighs> some jars for tincture making. Oh, look at this. Blast from the past. <laughs> Look at guys, that's me and my sister Mary hanging out in a cemetery taking pictures because, uh, why not? That must have been like 1999, somewhere around there, it must have been like 1819. Yep, so this me right here, obviously, and it's my sister Mary. Um, so yeah, I have a collection of pictures in here, like there's one of Willow, here's one of me with Ashton, my first baby. Um, whoops. I just have this creepy doll in here I got from my stepmother Sue. Um, this is also a little doll that was just creepy and I liked her so. These are just a thing of raw stones. Um, I have all different kinds of things in there. There's also some trilobites. Um, and stuff like that. So again, these are all my herbs. Um, this is just a bunch of herbs from the Witch's Moon box. Just stuck into one. Um, here's a little bit, mini thing of charm candles. Um, a little candle snuffer. Let me move this real quick out the way. And we just got camp. Uh, more candles because you know oh, I just bought this at the Dollar Tree but look how cute it is it's just an empty bottle for right now but I'm going to lunch put something in it it's got this like purple iridescence got a little Dollar Tree um, here are some bones me and my daughter found on walks there's a little uh, oh he fell over he's just a little frog cone incense burner there's some runes that me and James and Betty made together um, here's a little, um, this is actually a Halloween decoration, <laughs> but it's one of those hourglasses where you tip over in the sand, um, you know, pours out, but, uh, of course I keep it out year round because it's just, you know, you know me and skulls and stuff like that. There's my son Ashton. Looks just like Cypress, but that's my son Ashton. Everybody always goes, oh, that's a cute picture, Cy. That's not my Cy guy, that's Ashton accidentally hit the button sorry that is also my son Ashton and there's another picture of me and Manny at a at his Aunt Juanita and Uncle Bob's like 50th wedding anniversary or something like that so cute um but that's it for down here uh second row is this is really pretty much just got nothing in it. It's just another box with a tree on it that Manny got for me. It's just got some jewelry. Then we back here, we got some statues that I got. Um, shoot, when I was a teenager from my mom. That's also a Yule Fairy statue that I got from James. And this is also, it's actually a Christmas decoration I got for my mother-in-law and um, it lights up and spins glitter in it. It's really pretty, I love it. It's glass and there's liquid in it, so I don't put it away with my Christmas stuff. I just leave it in here until Christmas and then I pull it out and, you know. Uh, this is literally just flowers drying, nothing more. Um, I have quartz underneath it, a bunch of quartz that um, simply was already in the bowl and then I just needed a place to dry out these flowers. So I threw them on there. Um, back here we have a bunch of empty jars because, uh, hello, which is in jars. Um, right here, hanging right here, is <laughs> um, a chicken foot that my buddy James got for me when he went to New Orleans. Um, he was going to New Orleans and I was like, get me a chicken foot. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, girl, what? I was like, give me a chicken foot. So he got me one. And when he gave it to me, too, he was like, I got you some with some bling. So thank you, James. You're the bomb. Uh, 
I hang it up in here simply because like anytime like I had it down here by the bones but every time I open the cabinet my dog jumped up here he really wants to eat it he wants to chew it up and I don't want him to so it's just hanging right there for now um, here's another picture this is my mom as a teenager and my grandma the one who passed uh, earlier uh, well last year 2020 but look at that hairdo grandma but I'm trying to get it where you don't see like McLair. Everybody says I look just like her. My mom. Um, but yeah, she goes right there. And uh, okay, just more statues. This I got for my sister Mary. Um, this is another little box. Just got jewelry in it. This is my athame, which is made of out of a road spike, actually, or no, a uh, railroad spike. Um, so this is my athame, 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 whichever way you pronounce it. Tomato, tomato situation. Um, here's some feathers. Some I found on walks. Some I've bought from craft places because. I'm attempting, I haven't done it yet because I haven't had time, but I'm attempting to make like a dream catcher and just some like stuff, which when I do, I will show you all. Um, here's just that jar I got from that witch's moon box. I don't have anything in it yet, but I will eventually. Um, this is septarian. This is two halves of one whole. So it's literally cut in half and then um, polished. And me and my daughter were both saying how like these look like maps to like a quest game, like on, in video games. Like this would be the map of a quest. <laughs> anyway, um, that's Septarian. Um, this is a box. This is Manny's dad's box. Uh, who is no longer with us. Uh, he, there's nothing in here except for like jewelry that was his dad's and so I'm not going to show you that stuff either. It's really, but this box was his father's, passed on to Manny, now it's in the cabinet. Um, these are my wands, which my sister Mary, the one who's in the picture down there, uh, made for me. She made this one which has a little piece of quartz at the end of it. Honestly, I don't use wands very much. Like these are one of the my most like favorite witchy items, but I don't really use them because I don't use wands, but I love them all the same. And then she made me this one with a piece of black tourmaline on the tip. And I freaking love them. So. I love this one. I love both of them, but this one, if I did use one, it'd be this guy. It just fits nicely in the hand. Um, here we just got some oils, some from the Witch's Moon, some I've made. Uh, like me and my daughter made this one. It's a protection oil. It smells of rosemary. I love it. And then this is um, prosperity oil. It smells of mint. Love it. Um, this is just a piece of petrified wood which has a little um, hole in it because um, I was like looking for hagstones one day with me and my daughter and then I came across this petrified wood at this shop that sells like stones and stuff and I was like it's kind of like a hagstone um, but wood so that's petrified wood this is a random mix of crystals. I know people say you should not store all your crystals together, but you know, we live on the edge over here. Um, I have this little rock that looks like an eagle. I have a little worry stone right here. Um, tiger's eye, amethyst. Got some zebra calcite. Uh, selenite star. A chunk of malachite which also I bought from the store and I did not know until I brought it home 
that this is also a hag stone. You can kind of see it right there. But when you put your eyeball like right up to it, you can see through it. And I didn't know when I bought it. So that's pretty cool. See, you send it out there. You send the vibe out to the universe and it, it lets you know. Here's a little selenite palm stone, a little wooden disc I got from Amazon. Um, these are just some, what do you call it, spheres. I got rose quartz, amethyst, tiger's eye, um, sodalite, citrine, obsidian I want to say. There's smoky quartz, quartz, and uh, I think this one right here, I think this is dragon's bloodstone, something like that. Sorry, my finger was in the way. Um, here I have a piece of Libyan desert glass, moldavite, uh, just a piece of quartz, uh, another chunk of amethyst. This is also amethyst. This is black amethyst. Um, they call that because it's darker, but when you put it up to the light, you can actually see a tinge of purple there, but that's black amethyst. This is aragonite, argonite tomato tomato um, this is another piece of septarian but this is just basically this stone but polished around and I got this piece specifically because septarian they call the snake stone or the dragon stone and I got this one because it looked like a coiled snake so I got that little palm stone this is peacock ore love it and this I forgot what this was called um, I forgot what this was called but it's party so there's that um, I believe this is called God's Eye my daughter made that for me when she was in like first grade first or second grade at school I believe it's called a God's Eye don't hold me to that but basically you just you can unloosen it and then like wrap your worries around there or something like that but she made that for me a long time ago I still have it Here's some more statues I got from some people I got this from my this is also a cone incense burner that my brother-in-law got me when he was stationed in Afghanistan or Iraq is it the same place either way thank you crasher um and then up here is some randomness. I got some cone incense from my girl Betty. I got this last jar from my kids. Um, just share a Coke with mom. I have my, what is it, uh, 30th anniversary labyrinth box set because it's my favorite movie. And I simply just keep it in here so that, hold on, I have my hair. I'm starting to get real hot. I simply just keep it in here so that my kids don't <laughs> mess it up. This I've had since I was like probably 18 or 19. I got it from my Uncle Jim. He knows how much I love Wonder Woman. Um, so I've had it for a very long time. My daughter got me this from the Museum of Science and Industry when she went on a field trip with her class many, many moons ago. <sighs> There's my crystal ball. This is not really a crystal ball, but it's got a little like fairy, like etched in the middle of it. I bought that from some street fest a long time ago, like when you and Manny, um, not first started dated, but like we didn't have kids yet. Um, this is just some rando bottle of True Blood that I have had. It still has the juice in it or the drink. Um, I bought it from a bar in Snowball ages ago. This I got last Halloween from the Target Dollar Spot. They're just jars that say poison, uh, bone powder. And I simply just, again, put them in there because they were glass and I didn't want them to break. And then here are all my stones. Um, got a geode, a geode, amethyst, 
green adventuring, I want to say. Citrine, sodalite, quartz, labradorite. Um, I can't remember. I want to say it's some sort of jasper. I could be wrong. Um, lapis lazuli, howlite. Uh, I want to say this is onyx. I could be wrong. Um, I don't remember what this one is either. Uh, pink quartz. And this is dream amethyst, which I really like this. I like this piece a lot. This is what they call dream amethyst. Uh, there's another big chunk of amethyst. This is one of my big guys right here. This is my aura quartz. Which again is man-made. I just take a geode and they put this like stuff on it. But I love it. It's so sparkly. This is my rutilated quartz. This one I really love. Um, there's another piece of quartz. This is green fluorite, rainbow fluorite, and... The little baby is like a mix of both. So, um, this is my spirit quartz, my tourmaline, my black tourmaline that's shaped like a heart. I love it. Um, this is obsidian. These are arrowhead, obsidian arrowheads. They're actually really sharp. What people call dragon glass. And this is azurite. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's right. Um, I got this bone thing also, a Halloween decoration I got from Walgreens like at the end of the season, so it was like super cheap. Um, there's my bismuth, my selenite tower, which does have a little thing on the bottom that you can stick this little light into so it lights up. This is um a little cat with my birthstone that my grandma gave me not the one in this picture that's my mom's mom this was from my dad's mom and i simply keep it in here because it makes me think of her <sighs> these are little jars of, you know just little jars of stone like lapis lazuli and stuff i got these off of amazon too i put these in like candles i make this is a stranger things ouija board because franny knows me he knew i would like that um I don't remember where he got it, but... Oh, this is also one of my favorite pieces. This is my giant Labradorite. I love Labradorite. Some people call it the Sorcerer's Stone. Love it. This is just a piece of pyrite. That's so crazy that Mother Nature makes like such symmetrical things sometimes. There's a chunk of pyrite. Um, this is just a... Um, what do you call it? Like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a paperweight that uh, Manny's mom got at a garage sale for Manny because she knew we would dig something so weird. Um, and then this is a four leaf clover that my daughter found that I stuck in here. She finds them all the time. I don't know how, how to explain them. When I was a kid, I looked for freaking four leaf clovers all the time and I never found one. Not a one. My daughter can look at a patch of clovers for two seconds and find them. But this is the first one she ever found and I stuck it in here and stuck it up there. So, um, so up there is pretty much just my rock babies. And then and again down here is just jars and some more rock babies because I got so many. Oh, there's my tarot cards. Um, this one is a little complicated. These, this is my newest, uh, the, what is it called? The Season of the Witch Samhain Oracle. Love it. This is like my new favorite deck. I should do an in-depth video on this. But, anyway. This is my witchy cabinet, guys. Anyways, if you like this video, thumbs it up. If you'd like to see more videos like it in the future, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.